In uh, recent times, I've noticed as a psychologist that people are far more aware of the different kinds of therapy that they might get. Cognitive behavioral therapy, matter of fact, is sort of in some ways seems close to having moved into the American vernacular. And I guess I can speak more to American because that's where I am. Um, I don't know about other places in the world for that, but the shift is there. So people will ask me sometimes what kind of therapy I practice as a therapist. Uh, that's new patients often or someone considering being a new patient. And, um, and they're aware of cognitive behavioral therapy oftentimes. And what I want to talk about today is how to think about that question without getting lost in the details of what kind of therapy it is. What happens for, for so many of us who are experiencing emotional pain, and that's the pain that perhaps drives us into saying, hey, I'm going to go to therapy in the first place, some event, some, some pain, some trigger, that you say, finally, I got to deal with this. And so what therapy does when it works, one of the main things it does is it shows you that frame that you're living in that defines you by some history that is painful and oftentimes shameful. And when you're inside that box, then you oftentimes can't really see it at all. So you can't stop perpetuating the patterns that occur when you're inside the box. But when you can start to see the box from the outside a little bit, and that's what a great therapist is so good at helping you do, you can see that the solution to the pain, the old solution, is not only not functional, but it's also not aligned with with the truth, a truth that you come to see and to truly believe, which is that you are reacting in your life in reference to a history that has created pains in you. And you're not, as a result, allowing life to flow through you because ultimately there's a piece of you, at least one small piece, that doesn't feel worthy, doesn't feel completely worthy of the things that life has to offer you, i.e. life itself. So, um, whatever therapy you're thinking about doing or considering doing, they all, um, in my view, are aiming at, in the best cases, working with you through that whole sequence that I just talked about. And the different therapies have different ways of approaching that. But to understand that the real goal here is to get outside the box within which you live and within which that pain is created and see the box. Right? See some of the reasons for that shame and allow that shame by doing, by seeing it, to begin to dissipate, and in some cases dissipate extremely quickly, releasing you into a brand new life. And, um, you know, that said, of course, you need to keep reinforcing this and practicing it because it's really also easy to slide back into old habits of mind and, and uh, patterns of behavior. So, I hope that helps uh, clear that question up, at least from my point of view. And um, let's now get on with some mind exercise.